What's going on guys? It's XRP Vell here. Like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, keep my post notifications on. Now let's get into it. <clears throat> now, what a lot of people have to realize that a lot a lot of news from maybe like 2 years ago is basically foretelling the future that's happening right now. So I'm going to read to you guys. This was from a report from 2019 from the International Monetary Fund. And now we see central bank digital currencies being tested. The sand dollar of um, uh, Hawaii, that, that's already out and they're using it now. And this is basically a report, you know, from 2019 so it's called uh the rise of digital money remember this was july 16th july 16th 2019 <clears throat> okay so the international monetary fund released a new paper on july 15th titled the rise of digital money for those who do not know who the imf is let's let's review this the International Monetary Fund, also known as the Fund, is an international organi organization headquartered in Washington, D.C. It consists of 189 countries working to foster global monetary cooperation, secure financial stability, facilitate, facil facilitate international trade, promote high employment, and sustainable economic growth and reduce poverty around the world. Now, let me read this to you guys right here. So basically, the IMF believes that the adoption of electronic money is could be very rapid. And notice, remember I told you guys, this was from 2019. And look how fast the digital world is moving today. For example, central bank digital currencies, we have Visa expanding their ecosystem to have cryptocurrency spent as money. There you go. And this was from two years ago. So two years ago, the International Monetary Fund was saying that the adoption of electron electronic money would spend rapid would happen rapidly. And now it's happening rapidly. So notice that this is happening rapidly fast, like they say. OK. So this is from the, um, the, the report, okay, the, the white paper. If a means of payment, either claim or object, has stable value in the unit of account most relevant to users, it is much more likely, much more likely to be widely adopted, okay? For one, Parties will agree to hold it at least for the time it takes to complete the transaction. In addition, they will more easily agree on its value relative to the contracted transaction price. Usually expressed in a common unit account, stable value is thus a necessary condition for an object or claim to be widely used as a means of payment. XRP and Ripple is at the forefront as a means of payment and changing the financial payments into industry forever. Okay. So the question is how stable and e-money can be as stable as some of its com competing forms of money. If not, can, can its advantages as a convenient means of payment compensate and still lead to widespread adoption note that we focus here on e-money but many of insights could extend to i-money if and when it also takes off i-money is basically internet money now look this is this was from 2019 the imf believes that believes that central banks will have an important role in shaping the future of electronic money with the with the ability to set rules that would have a strong influence on their adoption and how much they exert pressure on commercial banks now with that being said you see what's happening right now 
with the central bank digital currencies. Okay, the most recognizable is central bank money in the form of cash. The notes and coins we have been carrying in our wallets for centuries, as discussed earlier, cash is an object-based means of payment. It is denominated in the local unit account. Is issued by central bank, is settled in a decentralized fashion among transacting parties and obviously has physical appearance. Its digital counterpart is, is currently being debated under the heading of a central bank digital currency. This was two years ago and now they're making central bank digital currencies, okay? Unlike cash, CBDC would likely not be anonymous, although it could protect users' data from third parties. Its validation technology, its validation technology could be centralized or decentralized, and it could offer interest. Okay. The other object-based means of payment is cryptocurrency. It is de denominated in its own unit of account. Okay. Is created or minted by non-banks and is issued on a blockchain commonly of the permissionless type now check this part out right here okay digital forms of money are increasingly in the wallets of consumers as well as in the minds of policy makers look what's happening right now with regulations and this was two years ago this white paper cash and bank deposits deposits are battling with so-called e-money electronically stored monetary value denominated denominated in and pegged to a currency like the euro or the dollar so we have here a white paper about the international monetary fund talking about electronic money and it's happening rapidly this was two years ago mind you the former head of the International Monetary Fund, which was Christine, Christine Lagarde, she is now the head of the, of the Central Bank of Europe, okay? The president of the Central Bank of Europe. She had a meeting with Jerome Powell, which is the head of the Federal Reserve, and a meeting with the, the new head of the International Monetary Fund at the same time. And she said, this was back in 2019, and she said central bank digital currencies could happen probably within two to four years. And this was in 2019. And look what's happening now with all the central bank digital currencies being tested. And now we have Hawaii with the sand dollar that's already out. And now we have China saying that they want to do central bank digital currencies. Put the pieces of the puzzle together. It's XRP Vale here. Like, comment, subscribe. Share my videos, share my videos, share my videos. Keep my post notifications on. Let's get into it, guys. Peace out.